ഹലോ ആ ടുഡേ വി ആർ കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് അവർ പി ഒ എസ് സെഷൻ ഇൻ ഇൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് സെഷൻ വി ഹാവ് ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് പി ഒ എസ് ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് പ്രോമിസ്ഡ് ദാറ്റ് വി വിൽ വി വിൽ ഡു പി ഒ എസ് വിത്ത് ബാച്ച് നമ്പേഴ്സ് ഹൗ ദിസ് ബാച്ച് നമ്പേഴ്സ് ആർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫോർ പി ഒ എസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ എ മെഡിക്കൽ ഷോപ്പ് ലെറ്റ്സ് എ ഇഫ് യു ആർ എ മെഡിക്കൽ മെഡിക്കൽ ഷോപ്പ് മെഡിക്കൽ റീറ്റെയിൽ ഔട്ട്ലെറ്റ് ഓർ എ ഫുഡ് ഔട്ട്ലെറ്റ് ഐറ്റംസ് ആർ കമ്മിങ് ഇൻ ബാച്ചസ് ലെറ്റ്സ് എ പാനഡോൾ ഇറ്റ്സ് എക്സ്പയറി ഇസ് ഇസ് തേർട്ടി ഡേയ്സ് ലെറ്റ്സ് എ ആൻഡ് എ ബാച്ച് കെയിം ഓൺ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് മെയ് അനദർ ബാച്ച് കെയിം ഓൺ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻത്ത് ഓഫ് മെയ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് മോസ്റ്റ്ലി വെൻ യു ആർ അറേഞ്ചിങ് യു വിൽ പുട്ട് ദിസ് ഓൺ ദ ഷെൽഫ് this later on the shift uh, on the shelf uh depends but mostly uh, i mean it's it's ideally when this this finish from from the stock then only this has to come because you want to finish uh, as a as a merchant you want to finish the the old item first then newer item will go to the shelf but even uh, sometimes it both come on shift and in any case the the barcode for items barcode for panadol is same for this i this batch and same for this batch so what happens when somebody pick this item from uh, shelf and coming to the your uh, uh, cash counter and the cashier will just can't we have we have explained it cashier will just use the scanner and uh, he he will he will get that he he never he or she never look at the at the barcode or or the batch or anything that's not her job she will just scan it and print the invoice and give it to them so if if you are if you have the same barcode for panadol for this batch and this batch both batches then there is an issue with that because what happens it may deduct from here or from here and we don't know maybe this batch is for first may batch but it will deduct from 15th may batch so when you are taking an inventory or there is an inspection because in this part of the world expiry date is very very important even even the shops close and the, the big fines coming and all so if if you miss if you are not if your inventory is not correct it will be a disaster for the company so it it's very important to have a batch number on uh on each item and uh, so what happens today we will look at that the batch especially on the medical shops there is on item if you look at this item we put panadol and the last time also and the, there is barcode you can see the barcode oh, i'll add some barcode here there's no barcode i'll put some barcode for simplicity i will put here uh 51 oh there's 10101 i'll i put it like this there is a barcode and this item is a batch item it's a batch item so when you are trying to invoice there is a you know um, if you have watched our last session then please go back and watch because pos we need opening and closing and uh, i mean all sort of things barcode and everything so if you are using this barcode 101010 what will happen 1010 this is panadol extra this if you are trying to print this you will you will get this message saying you will get this message if you are trying to print panadol extra 
if you are trying to check out you will get this message item will be removed since no serials batch numbers are selected we can because this item is specifically it need a batch number so there is batch numbers you can see it the stock there is batch and we in a video back maybe three sessions back we have explained how to create batch numbers we have batch number so so this parador we have two batches arrived one batch with this one batch this uh one batch on 13th may on 12 for i mean this is just a name so in this what we do we will put a batch number in this a batch code this is i put a batch code here i'll put something like this is 2222 okay let's put it like this it is, is a long 13 letter one but uh, just for simplicity i'm putting this then there is another batch this came another day and i'm putting it here okay in this stage i just want to tell you something this barcode option is not available right now in ERP next this is on the special feature on ERP Gulf uh, because uh, in the in this region it's very strict to have batch numbers and all uh, I don't know uh, I have requested ERP next to include in in their version a barcode for a barcode for uh, batches right now it's not it may come but on the ERP Gulf installations we already have these features and and when you have these options on the point of sale the point of sale now okay point of sale when you are opening point of sale instead of the item code here that was 101010 if you remember it's coming here but if you put it 222222 it will give you this batch this particular batch and if you if you put 333333 it's actually scanning you are scanning so you will get another batch so your sticker on the panadol or your sticker on anything will have a barcode that is specifically for the bachelor uh, that that particular batch and when you are making this barcode you may you can consider a part of the barcode belongs to item a barcode the part of the barcode belongs to expiry date or something like that because uh, you you can use it in other, other reporting I mean there are many reports now that you may need to report that report this report so this barcode when you are when you are defining this barcode uh, when you are entering when you are putting a sticker of barcode inside the piano roll depends on the batch you you can you can make it make it like it has uh, the original item number and an expiry date uh, like that you you can put you can make a barcode your own or you can use the you use a predefined barcode or whatever so this this session is very important for the food and medical shops in the in the gulf area so this this features the both features here i show you here this search on the barcode and the entry of the barcode is specialized it is it's a customized uh, for for ERP Gulf, uh, that's it. Uh, we will on the next session we will we will do the uh, what you call um, user and uh, and the permissions, privileges, and all. So so you you will you will get an update if you have subscribed our YouTube channel. So please please subscribe our YouTube channel or send us send a mail at training at ERP Gulf dot com thank you thank you very much for joining us for this session thank you